Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a quick Sephora haul. Uh, I'm not going to go into details on any of the products. I might talk about like how much is in them, but I don't have opinions on any of these things yet. I have high hopes for all of them. If I do have any inklings, I will share them, but I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible just so you can see a couple of new things that have come out and also just like what I'm into at the moment. So I'm going to start with my absolute favorite thing from what I bought, which is the Becca Ocean Jewels uh, Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to try to import, input a little clip of what it looks like right here. While I talk about it a little bit, it's just really hard to get open. That's my first impression of this. But it has five beautiful ocean-inspired highlighters inside of it. If I cannot figure out how to import a clip, I will try to put a picture or something at least. But it's beautiful. The packaging is very, very fingerproof prone. Fingerproof prone? Fingerprint prone. So keep that in mind. But it is very, very beautiful. And it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It nets at 14.95 uh, grams. Is that what that says? That seems wrong. But yeah, yeah, 14.95 grams. Sweet. Okay, next thing is also, I think, new. It is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. Comes in a package like this. The bottle is, it's not intuitive how to open this. The bottle kind of reminds me of an egg. It's not really egg shaped, but it's, you know, it's egg esque. And it's supposed to be super lightweight, super light coverage, uh, maybe a little bit buildable, but I don't think that I'm going to like this. And it's because I read a little bit about it. I read some more reviews and things after I purchased it, and I don't think it's going to work for my skin. But I have high hopes anyway. I'm going to try it anyway. Next thing is the Becca ugh, Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blush in the shade Snapdragon. I don't think this is new, but I love Becca Cheek products, so I got it anyway. Uh, it's very, very pigmented and very, very bright. So, yeah. I've used this. I used it today, but still, I, I'll wait to share my thoughts. Next thing is new to me. I don't know if it's new. I have not. I had not heard of it before. It's the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick, which I think is a cool concept, a refillable lipstick. And the actual, like, pen, I don't know what to call it, the actual packaging, I cannot get it out, but it's pretty. It's like a, a, a beautiful golden fountain pen with the lipstick at the top. I really like it. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's in the shade No One Knows. So no one knows about this. Uh, yeah, but I like this so far. I'll let you know. Next thing is a repurchase. I've bought many, many tubes of this. It's one of my favorite concealers. It's the Hourglass Hidden Corrective Concealer. It comes in a tube. Twist up. It's very nice. I actually do have an opinion on this. I love it. It's great. It's a great concealer if you need full coverage. Um... Yeah, and it's pretty, even though it's full coverage, it's pretty lightweight, it's pretty creamy, really like it. Next thing is this Hourglass, which this is not new, because I've thought about buying this before, I've wanted it for a while, but it's $45, and I was like, I don't know if a brush is worth $45. This got great reviews, but it's tiny, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to return it, because $45 for a brush that's not even as long as your hand, I don't know, like, I love this Tarte Smoothie Blender Brush, and it is significantly smaller, significantly less wide, and I don't know, like it feels really nice, and people say that it's really, really good, but is it $45 good for what looks like a travel brush to me? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I might try it. I might just send it back. I don't know yet. Next thing I got, and maybe the last thing that I actually bought is this Milk Makeup um, Cooling Water. And I got this for underneath my eyes because I get puffy eyes, uh, especially when I've just woken up. And I thought it would be cool to try. This thing has a lot of mixed reviews, so I'm not sure about it yet, uh, but we shall see. Seems cool. Uh, last few things I got were freebies. First thing was like a, you know, they have weekly promo whatever things. This was for a free uh, Cover Effects Glitter Drops in the shade Mirage. I do not know 
how big this bottle is, uh, 2.8 milliliters. And this is basically like some stuff you put in your foundation or on your skin to make you look like a glittery unicorn goddess. At least that's how I understand it. I've never used that stuff before. Next thing was a 500 point perk. It's called the Urban Decay Side Eye Trio. Comes with a full size perversion mascara, a 24 7 eye pencil in perversion, a travel size, and a small travel size eyeshadow primer potion. Now, I got this because I wanted the travel size primer potion, but the, you know, I literally never use my points at Sephora. Does anyone else do that? Like, I just, I let them rack up forever and ever and ever. Amen. But, um, I was like, this is 500 points. Comes with a full size mascara, might as well try it. This mascara is wet. Like, you know, I, I think that I like drier mascaras. Like, my favorite mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Whatever that is, that's what I like. This is so wet that I was scared to open my eyes all the way after I put it on because I was like, it's gonna get all over my brow bone. And you know, that's just a mess when you've got eyeshadow on. But I think that it made my lashes look pretty good. But it is very, very wet, so it's not one that you can just put on a coat, then let it dry in 10 milliseconds, and then put on another coat. you got to wait a little bit. And I haven't used the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in about 10 years, so we'll see about that, too. Last thing that I got was my birthday perk. It was the Bite Pucker Up It's Your Birthday gift, and it comes with... Uh, the Amuse Bouche Lipstick, the MAC Cream Lip Crown, and crown, Crayon, <laughs> and the Agave Lip Balm. All travel sizes, ooh, that fell on the floor, and all very cute. Now, I always think that the colors that they choose to give lip perks in are the weirdest shades. Like, the, this is like a really deep mauve, a dark kind of brownie mauve, and that's just an odd choice to me, especially since... You know, they start this at the beginning of the year, so you're closer to spring than you are to fall or winter. This is a very fallish color to me. This is not winter, or this is not summer at all, but this is the perk all year round, so we'll see. I feel like they should choose a brighter shade when it's almost spring, which is funny because I'm wearing like bright makeup and I'm wearing this really dark top that doesn't fit me very well. And I feel like I look like spring on top and fall everywhere else. But that's because it's really cold here, but also it's almost spring. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I included in this haul, or you want to hear a follow-up on anything that I included in this haul, please drop me a comment, send me an email, send me a DM on Instagram, whatever floats your little boats. Uh, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.